hey beauties welcome back to my channel so today I did like a little chit chat get ready ready with me I even show you guys how to do a, a peachy eye look or whatever but um I'm gonna start doing more of these get ready with me slash chit chats I'm gonna start doing more vlogging I don't know I'm just gonna start doing more content for you guys and also I want to make it fun for me because doing makeup videos I love doing makeup videos with you guys but I need to like kind of switch it up so I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and just go with it I'm just gonna go with it and let's see what happens let's see what kind of content I come back with you guys to show you and stuff but but yeah but today today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this little peachy eye look and I use the sweet talk palette from ColourPop and this is what it looks like these are beautiful for fall I kind of also wanted to do something for fall show you guys something easy and simple and yeah so yeah you guys you guys want to see this eye look and what whatever else I put in my face <laughs> then keep on watching okay you guys so before I start there's people in my backyard doing some little renovations and stuff and they're with the drill so just ignore the noise from the background <laughs> okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with the sweet talk color pop um palette and i'm gonna go in with this shade first which is catch me this light pink shade and i'm gonna go in with the morphe m456 and what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it here in the inner half of my eye of my crease i mean i'm sorry and i'm gonna try to get it as light as i can i, I also prep my eyes with the elf concealer in in medium beige it's kind of getting color but like my base my eyelid base is a medium warm tone shade it's really not gonna show this light pink won't show so if you really want this light pink to show just going with a white base it's much easier for light cool colors okay so that's how good it's gonna get you really can't tell but it's okay Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Melody shade, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use the same brush. And this shade is gonna go in the outer half of my crease. And I'm gonna kind of blend these two together like this. This color you could tell because it's more like a darker color. Than the other one but it's okay because the pink the first shade that light pink it's gonna pop out more right now so I'm gonna make it pop out more next I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shade melody and with my ring finger I'm just gonna get some and I'm just gonna apply it with my finger here on the outer half of my lid Okay, now that I added that, I'm gonna go back in with Catch Me, this pink one, but now with my finger, I'm just gonna apply it to see if I could get the pigmentation that I want, and yes. And look, applying it with my finger, I get it more lighter, and that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this eye. And I'm gonna kind of do like tapping motions here in the middle to kind of like diffuse the two shades together what I'm gonna do next is go in with this shimmery shade here and it's um side to side yeah side to side and again I'm gonna use my finger but I'm gonna use my ring finger because it's like more delicate towards the eye and I'm gonna just tap it here on the inner half of my eye where I added that pinky shade 
Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Work It, which is this light brown here. I'm gonna go in with a small blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out here. Just to, I'm just gonna smooth out the edges here. Next I'm going in with a brown eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the NYX Ink, Epic Ink Liner. Just a brown and this is such a good liner NYX liners are really really good and here I'm gonna try to wing it okay I'm gonna try to do a wing but I'm gonna do like a tiny tiny wing because I'm still I'm like legit still practicing with my wings so I'm just gonna do a tiny one I feel like the brown liner goes with this look. I mean, you could also go with black, but I wanted to do brown today. I mean, that's how small I'm going to do. I'm not going to even go, I'm not going to even try to make it bigger because I know I'm going to do it like a hot mess. So, Okay, for mascara, I'm going to go with the Ego, Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. And I'm just going to apply this on my um, upper lashes. I usually apply mascara after I have my falsies on, but lately I've been doing, I've been applying mascara first and then my lashes, and I like, I don't know, I like that better, you know, like it's faster to apply my fake lashes on. Okay, next for lashes, I'm going to go in with my lash bag lashes in the style Belize, Belize, I don't know how to say that, but it's these right here, let me take them off. These right here, it's something natural, but cute, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on really quick. Okay, look how easy it's gonna be to apply the lashes. I go up like this, and then I fix the corners. The glue is kinda still wet, but it's okay. Itana. That was so easy. That's why I like applying my mascara first now and then lashes because you just pop those things on. Yeah. And then I'll just kind of fan my lashes with my mirror just for the glue to dry a little bit quicker. I'm going to start with my base. I already kind of moisturized so I'm going to add my primer and I'm going to go in with the Unique Touch Glorious Hydrating Face Primer. And this is a good primer because it does keep my face hydrated, you know. And then I recently got these from the Dollar Tree. They're from e.l.f. They're um, a stipple brush. I, I think these are new because in the box it said new. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer on. And then I like those little small brushes because, okay, like I was saying before my camera shut off, I like using these little brushes because I think they're cute first of all. And then I like using them whenever I'm doing my, um, when I'm priming my face because sometimes I don't want to use my hands and using your hands, you could transfer bacteria from your hands or whatever into your face and you break out because lately I've been breaking out and plus brushes are my go-to right now <laughs> but these are cute because first you could use for primer and then you could also use to contour your cream contour your concealer whatever i mean you could also use it for foundation if you wanted to but yeah i found these in my local dollar tree you guys for a dollar okay next i'm gonna go in with the l'oreal infallible 24 hour wear um foundation in the shade 440 but i feel like this might be a little bit too light so if it is i'll just go in just a little bit on top of it with the wet and wild cream beige foundation just to give it like a little bit of color so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this in my brush and i'm using this fluffy foundation brush well it's a powder brush but i like using it for my foundation because i love how it blends out everything 
Let's see how light this is. This is my first time using this foundation and it's nice. It's nice. I needed to upgrade my foundation because I mean my go-to foundation is the wet and wild one. But I really wanted to try something new. Like I'm always down to trying new stuff. And I heard a lot of good things about this foundation, so I just wanted to try it out. See what all the fuss is about. Okay, it definitely is a bit lighter than my skin tone. So instead of adding another pump, I'm just going to go ahead and add the Wet n Wild next. See the difference of the shades? <laughs> oh my god. I need to get um the right shade of the Lord. The right shade of the Lord. No. No. I legit went like there's no tomorrow on my brows. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go back and fix my brows go ahead and blend this out really quick and then I'm gonna go back in and fix my brows off camera cuz oh my god I just went in <laughs> oh my god I apply foundation in my brows uh, okay you guys so I'm gonna start vlogging more I've been wanting to vlog more quite a while already but I wasn't sure on what to vlog or anything because i was thinking i was also thinking of making my channel into like a family channel where my husband and my kids would come out as well i was thinking of recording it and i don't know just making more content for you guys you know you know what my brow i'm just gonna at the end oh my god yeah at the end i'm just gonna go and fix it because i still gotta apply concealer and and powder and stuff okay for concealer i'm gonna go in with the same one like always in medium beige from elf i'm just gonna apply where i always apply my concealer and that definitely is a lot of concealer so i'm gonna go in with my sponge and just blend out this concealer it's a damp sponge So yeah guys, like I was telling you, I want to make my channel more into a family channel. Like make it more fun, not just for me, but for you guys, the ones that follow me and stuff. Like I want to show you guys who I really am and I'm fun, I'm not boring. Like I'm still going to do makeup videos and stuff, but I also want to do other stuff. I'm still going to be reviewing um boxes subscription boxes like everything that i've been doing lately right now on my channel i'm still gonna be doing that but i'm gonna try to vlog more because i want to get out of my comfort zone and you know so we'll see stay tuned for vlogs <laughs> okay now to set everything i'm going in with the wet and wild translucent powder and you guys the wet and wild powders are so good you get a lot of product for like four or five bucks. It's like so good. Okay, using my sponge, the same one, I'm just gonna go in and I'm not gonna bake. I usually don't ever bake, but I'm just gonna be tapping the product on my skin just to set the concealer and the rest of my face too. So yeah, you guys, let me know. Do you guys want to see vlogs? Do you want to see like a day in my life? What I do as a mom of two and a wife. I, of one though. Ah. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going in with my unique bronzer in Hermosa. And where's my brush? Okay. They legit discontinued the bronzers. They only had three shade ranges and they discontinued them and this is like legit my favorite bronzer 
I really don't contour, I kind of contour with my bronzer, so just to give me like a warmer face because right now I feel white and I need to give some like warmth to my face. I'm legit forgetting to contour my nose, so where's my brush? Here it is. So I'm just gonna go in with the same bronzer. And that's it. Just kidding, I need to blend it out. Uh, I'm just gonna go in with this powder brush and just blend it like this way and then this way okay now for blush I want to keep it like in the peachy vibe so I'm gonna go in with the elf um, blush palette it's this one right here this is what it looks like and I'm gonna stick to this shade here and this is well I guess this is the only blush palette they have no but I'm gonna go in with this one right here and you gotta go light with these because they're like really pigmented like you see look how pigmented they are but they're so pretty Okay, so before highlight, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. I'm gonna set my face because it kind of feels a bit dry right now. And I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And you guys, this setting spray is like. This setting spray is so good. Okay, now for highlighter, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild highlighter. And you guys, I love this one. This is the style I'm so lit. For four or five bucks, you get all this product and it's gonna last you like a lifetime. Like legit a lifetime and my eye itches. Look at all of that, look at that. And what I use, I just tamp it my brush with the cap here. Look, let me show you. I'm gonna go with this small one. I'm gonna try it out with the small one. I just tap it here just a little. Cause that's all you need. Technically that's all you need and then See that and then you could still see the shimmers so this is like such a blinding really good highlighter and it also looks wet once you apply it the hydr highlighter looks like if it's wet which is so cute but that's all you need just a few taps on the on the cap y te lo pones so I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe M4 M456 brush and I'm gonna go in with um no not that one with Melody this one right here just a little and I'm just gonna put it here And then with an angle brush, I'm going to go in with this shade here. And this is ICYMI. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to go with this shade here. And like always, I'm just going to apply from the outer corner to the middle. So it's just the outer half. like that and then I'm gonna go back with the brush with no product on and just blend out this color just like that and then for the inner corner I'm gonna go back in with the highlighter right here on my inner corner I'm gonna apply some setting spray to it to the brush Oh, 
There you go. Okay, now for lips, I'm gonna kind of keep it on the peachy, folly vibes type of look. So I'm gonna go in with this Appeal um, Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick in Sugar and Spice. And everything nice. Okay. So in Sugar and Spice, and this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna... With the applicator, the point of the applicator, I always use it to trace my lips and then I just go ahead and fill them in. Anyway, you guys, so thank you much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this peachy um, eye look, makeup look, the whole face, the whole shebang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat with me. Um, I know I didn't chit chat in the beginning, but um, it's because if I start chit chatting, I end up forgetting steps and I end up forgetting to apply anything you know like anything i just forget to apply stuff so yeah that's why i don't kind of don't chit chat that much but i'm gonna start doing some more chit chats and getting ready with you guys and stuff and um yeah so thank you thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment down below if you guys want to see more of the chit chat videos the more get ready with me the more vlogging anything please let me know what do you guys think and yeah you guys so i'll see you guys on the next one oh also don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow the rest of my social media and yeah you guys i'll see you guys on the next video bye 25 99 i think